Would you like to know if you have what it takes to be a cloud architect? Are you worried if your background is good enough to be a cloud architect? Well, if so, this video is for you. Hi, my name is Michael Gibbs, and I'm the founder and CEO of Go Cloud Careers. And we're an organization that's truly dedicated towards building the most high performance cloud computing careers. Personally, I've been working in technology for over 25 years now. And I've been helping others get their first tech job or get promoted in tech for more than two decades. And I want to help you get cloud hired or cloud promoted. Almost every day somebody says, Mike, can I become a cloud architect? Is my background good enough? And I want to set the record straight right now. What if I told you it was not related to your background at all? What if I told you that your past does not define your future? What if I told you that I get someone their first cloud architect job almost every day of the week? And guess what doesn't matter? Someone's previous background, education, or experience. But what matters most? That's what we're going to get to. What matters most is your willingness to learn, your willingness to change. Getting the right training, I'm going to tell you right now, certification training will never get you a cloud architect or a solution architect job because the training is grounded in the wrong thing. It's graded in configuration, and architects typically design, present, and sell. We don't configure. So learning the name of the service and how to configure that will not get you a cloud architect job. But if you build the right plan and learn the right things and you execute on that plan and you get the right hard work, dedication, and focus, guess what? You can easily be a solution architect or a cloud architect. Now, how do I know this? Well, I do have 20 years experience helping people build their best technology careers. And I'm going to tell you right now, it's not who looks good on paper. Not those that have a million certifications that get hired or promoted. It's those who are truly great, truly great at their jobs. Greatness is about expertise. It's not about experience. It's about competency. And I'm going to give you numerous examples to show you that I've gotten people wonderful roles, like cloud architects and solution architects, as their first job. But I'm going to start with me, okay? Because 25 years ago, I was practicing internal medicine, which I kind of liked. But I love tech. And when I wanted to go into tech, everybody says, you got to start at a help desk or network admin. And I said, no way. I said, my first job is going to be a network engineer. Guess what? My first job was actually a senior network engineer. Why? Because I got the right training. I learned the right things. And I knew what hiring managers wanted. In today's world, for me, I get someone their first cloud architect job or solution architect almost every day. And I'll give you some examples. And you'll see, it's not someone's past experience. It's their attitude, their energy, their enthusiasm, how hard they're willing to work, the right training, and willingness to go above and beyond. Here's an example student I had, Jennifer. Wow, she was a very special student to work with. She was a mental health tech, and she's now working with J.P. Morgan Chase as a cloud architect, and she is absolutely fantastic. Ivan, and uh, you can see a video of him on my YouTube channel. Wow, he is a 25-year-old fireball. He came to me, he was a college student, he was working as a waiter meaning serving food at a restaurant. Now he's a solution architect at AWS, and he's doing fantastic. Coyote was another college student of ours whose first job was a solution architect for AWS, and they're very lucky to have him because he's amazing. I had a student, Jeffrey, who was a geologist, and he was actually looking at geospatial images of the Earth, and now he's a cloud architect. Balwinder is an incredible cloud architect. She came to us, and for the last decade, she was homeschooling her children and working customer service. Now she's a cloud architect and she has a fantastic job. Delroy Bat, he was an EMT working, with, working about a year ago, came to us, and now he's an exceptional cloud security architect. Vladimir, he came to us recently, he just graduated college, and now he's working as a cloud architect. And to prove that anybody can do it, regardless of your degrees, your background, your experience, I had an amazing student. His name was Daniel Bosu, and you can see several videos from on our channel. Daniel came to us, and when he came to us, he had not graduated high school, and he did not have a GED. What he had was an attitude, an energy, an enthusiasm, a passion, and he's so smart. And he proves to us all that with the right training effort, any of us can be anything we want. Daniel was 20 years old. Now he's 21, and he's working as a cloud architect. Daniel was one of the hardest workers I've ever seen, one of the smartest people that actually would push, 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 and push some more. Now at 21 years old, he's working as a cloud architect. He didn't even finish high school, and he's working as a cloud architect for one of the world's largest banks. Six months of proper cloud architect training. Look, 
That bank is very lucky to have him because he's an exceptional architect. But it proves to us it's not your background, it's not your education, it's not your experience, it's the right training and how hard you're willing to work. Now, of course, experience is helpful. And I get students with experienced cloud architect jobs constantly. And what happens? They get even bigger roles, higher paying roles, often in the $250,000 plus range because they're already experienced tech professionals that now are architects. But here's the thing to remember. Your past does not define your future. What you had for dinner yesterday does not impact what you have for dinner today. Every day is a fresh start, a chance to be better, a chance to do better. So take advantage of that opportunity. Every day is a great day and every day is a chance to improve. So why can some people get hired with zero experience and others struggle after years? Well, it all starts with the right training and having the right skills. We have to remember the purpose of a cloud architect is digital transformation. The cloud architect's focus is how do we improve a business performance with technology. We have to understand that the cloud architect designs, presents, and sells. We don't code, we don't configure, and as a rule, we don't touch the technology. We design the end-to-end -end solution from the beginning to the end. And see, most people don't understand this rule. They get certifications. They get sysop certifications and DevOps certifications and development certifications. And guess what? That's not our job. And all the time somebody's busy focusing on these irrelevant certifications, guess what they're not learning? How to be a solution architect or how to be a cloud architect. And when we interview someone and we need competency, if somebody has the skills of somebody else's job, we can't hire them. So it starts with getting the right skills. And I'm going to tell you what these skills actually are. And it's also about being what the employer desires. But for the architect, the skills are as following. Networking, data center, and business skills. You want to know exactly what they are? I'll tell you right now. They are BGP. They are IP addressing, subnetting, supernetting, route summarization. They are WAN technologies such as IPsec VPNs, SSL-based VPNs, private lines, Ethernet over MPLS, software-defined networking, and SASE. It involves NAT. One-to-one -one NAT, one-to-many NAT, static NAT, dynamic NAT, PAT. It involves switching technology, which includes VLANs, VLAN tagging, VLAN trunking, spanning tree, rapid spanning tree, port channel, ether channel, and link aggregation groups. It involves deep knowledge of DNS, DHCP, ARP, and proxy ARP. Now, on the data center side, we need to understand servers and server virtualization and containers and container orchestration, storage area networks such as block storage, object storage, file storage, load balancers, when to use network load balancers versus application load balancer versus reverse proxy kind of things. We need to know this. When to use a relational database, when to use a NoSQL database, how to make these databases scale, how to make them work multi-cloud, which is also more important in today's world. It involves understanding of security, things like Microsoft Active Directory, and other authentication authorization accounting forms. It involves understanding of hybrid clouds. It involves next generation firewalls, VPN concentrators, IDS, IPS systems, and the business applications that can transform business. But remember, the cloud architect's job is to design, present, and sell. So the cloud architect is going to need excellent presentation skills, excellent written communication skills, executive communication skills, leadership skills, business acumen skills, the ability to do some ROI modeling, writing thought leadership documents. See, these are architect skills, not what's taught in the certification, which is the name of a service and how to configure it. But, 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 when you're new, it's not just enough to be competent. You have to be the other things that our employers want, and here's the reason why. When I interview someone, or anybody interviews someone for that matter to hire them, 50% of the candidate's interview score is related to their technical competency, but the other 50% is related to the other stuff. And when you're changing careers, you need that other stuff. So if you're not training with us, make sure you get some serious leadership training, some serious business acumen training, some emotional intelligence training, some sales training, because you got to sell the manager into hiring you. So what are those other 50% of things that employers want? In addition to competency, they're looking for honesty. Can they trust you? What's your integrity like? They want to know what you know what you know and know what you don't know so you don't make mistakes and take them down. See, that mistakes happen. The, the Google Cloud was taken down by a BGP misconfiguration. Facebook was taken down by a BGP misconfiguration. Companies don't want that, so they want to know you know what you know and know what you don't know. Employers want someone that's energetic, enthusiastic, and passionate about the technology, not someone that's, <sighs> wake me up, but it's time to work. So employers also want someone that's emotionally intelligent and brings out the best in others. Employers are looking for team players because architecture is a team sport, and employers want someone that's willing to go above and beyond, whatever it takes 
legally, morally, and ethically to get the job done. So I hope you can see it's not about your background. If you want to become a solution architect, it's not about your background. It's about your capabilities and what you have to offer the employer. So if you want any career, a cloud architect, a solution architect, a cloud engineer, I don't care, any career, don't worry so much about your past. Worry about preparing for your future. Master your job, not someone else's, because as I mentioned, when most people want to become cloud architects or solution architects, they learn everyone's job other than their own. Build your brand and get yourselves cloud hired. This is Michael Gibbs. I'm the founder and CEO of Go Cloud Careers, and I get people cloud hired almost every day, and I want to help you get cloud hired. If you're looking to get your first solution architect job, we have a cloud architect career development program which helps people and trains them and even helps them get their first cloud architect job. If you'd like to learn more about how to become a cloud architect, please join us on the completely free webinar, How to Get Your First Cloud Architect Job. The link is in the description below. And if you've got any questions about building your cloud computing career, I'm online completely free on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays on YouTube answering your questions. So please come, bring your questions, and I want to help you get cloud hired. I hope you've enjoyed this video on Can I Become a Solution Architect? I look forward to seeing you in another video. Take care.